And after an exhaustive investigation, there is only one person who had the motive, who had the means, who had the opportunity to commit these crimes. In his closing argument on Wednesday, lead state prosecutor Crichton Waters said the evidence given during a month of testimony in Alex Murdoch's murder trial, including Murdoch's admission that he was at the crime scene on the night of. The defendant was the one person who was living a lie. And lied about it afterward, all pointed in one direction. Maggie Murdoch and Paul Murdoch were brutally and maliciously murdered at the kennels by Alex Murdoch. 54-year-old Murdoch, the once influential but now disbarred South Carolina lawyer, has been charged with fatally shooting his wife Maggie and youngest son Paul at dog kennels on their estate known as Moselle, which the jury visited earlier on Wednesday. Prosecutors have argued that Murdoch murdered his wife and son to generate sympathy and distract from a litany of financial crimes, including the theft of millions of dollars from his law partners and clients. He stole by billing personal expenses to the firm, he stole by stealing from his own family. Money, prosecutors say, which was used to feed a costly addiction to opioids and support an expensive lifestyle. Murdoch admitted to some of his financial crimes during testimony last week, but insisted under oath that he did not kill his wife and son. And so that pressure is happening as well. Prosecutors said he was also under pressure at the time of the murders, facing a $10 million wrongful death lawsuit stemming from a 2019 boating accident in which his son Paul was involved. That boat wreck, Murdoch suggested while on the stand last week, could be the reason his wife and son were killed. But on Wednesday, the prosecutor tried to quash that theory. There's been no evidence whatsoever of any specific other individual. There has to be evidence to consider. Whoever did this thought about it for a really long time. Murdoch testified that he had lied about his whereabouts on the night of the killings, changing his account after the jury was shown video evidence, placing him at the scene minutes before investigators say the murders occurred. Why in the world would an innocent, reasonable father and husband lie about that? Murdoch also said he initially lied to investigators about his alibi because of paranoia tied to his drug habit and because he did not trust the police. But prosecutors said he lied to cover up his crimes. People lie because they knew they did something wrong. Defense attorneys will present their closing arguments on Thursday. Murdoch faces 30 years to life in prison if found guilty.